guys welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing my July favorites it was a very requested video from a lot of people I did a June a favorite video and people seem to really like that I'll leave that in the description box below so if you want to check that out but anyways these are my July favorites probably my June favorites too but I'm just gonna show you guys some of these products the first one is this Jergens natural glow daily moisturizer so I am like terrible at doing this sort of view but I will try my hardest but anyways this stuff is so nice it's really really thick so I love this I use this like after I do my self tanning so the next day I like use it and it is amazing I just had like a small little bottle I wanted to test it out to see if it was any good and it is it's almost gone so I will have to actually pick up a bigger bottle of this but I really really liked that so when we went on vacation recently and this might be like TMI but I Every time I wear tank tops, like I feel like I have body odor all the time. So I knew that The Secret had these little like um, to-go deodorants and they smell amazing. I just got like the little purple one. I can't remember exactly what the smell was, but it is amazing. <sighs> the smell of deodorant yeah I carried this around with me so every time I thought I stunk I just kind of swiped it out my pits and good to go you didn't have to bring like a big thing around I guess you could definitely do like a trial size but I loved this a lot and it's gonna last forever I feel like because I feel like this is such a thick ball it reminds me of like those chapsticks but yeah I really really liked this this was probably a little bit more than I normally pay for deodorant but I like had I got like a coupon and stuff when I bought it so it was even like better to use on like next purchase anyways I didn't pay full price for this or I wouldn't have bought it all right you guys my next favorite thing this month is this bag so this company called Teddy Blake sent me this purse so these bags are made in Italy with premium Italian leather they are so beautiful the quality is so nice I absolutely am blown away by it and the price of these are well more affordable than a Louis Vuitton purse or something like that so they are made very well and they have they don't have thousands of dollars on their price tag so I was really excited to see like a nice luxury made handbag for a quarter of the cost of like a Louis Vuitton so that was really really nice I love this bag I love this color this this is the Eliza Vitello bag it's navy and red I like this a lot so I've been using this for a while so if you see like little spots and stuff on it it's because I literally just pulled this out of my car so I like this a lot the only downfall I did not like on it is how slippery the handle was I did not like it I like wore like I had it on for a little while and every time I'd bend over to pick my kid up my purse would completely fall on the ground so I made this strip a lot longer because I loved this style so this was the style of bag that I chose I loved the colors so I really wanted this exact one I just made the handle or the little strap a lot longer so I could use it as a crossbody bag so this is actually how I wear it and then it has a little spot like probably for your for your shoulder and this is how I've been carrying it around and it's really nice it has a lot more room than you think and this is just amazing it also came with this little wallet do we call these wallets I call it a wallet and it came with this thing right here so you can strap it on to your purse so the little straps have these right here and then this can just go around this is how it was when it came but I was like too excited I'm like I'm gonna try this out give you like my dead honest review of it and what I think because yes it's a little more of a pricier item so I wanted to get my full complete review out of it and that is the only downfall I have is that the strap was slippery like my daughter put her sticky gross hands on it and it just wipes right off which is amazing it fits a lot of goodies in here like this so I have like my wallet coupons garbage you know like a mother's purse so I have really liked this I like that it closes like this and I knew it did so I can't say that I didn't like it because it didn't have a zipper on it because I knew it didn't have a zipper although sometimes it comes in handy I prefer no zippers because it's easier to get in my purse when I need to and nothing is gonna fall out because I use a crossbody so it works perfect so I will also leave a link in the description box below along with a 20% off coupon code for you guys all right guys the next thing is this L'Oreal Revitalift face neck cream this stuff is one Wonderful. I've been using this for quite a while I have like dark circles and I feel like that you're always supposed to use a moisturizer whether you feel like you have wrinkles or not 
or to prevent them or so I really want to start using this cream I was given this and I absolutely love it so it's this can we get it to work I don't know but why how come everybody else can do this and I can't I don't know but anyways this is really really nice I'm not sure the price, but I will try to like link everything so you guys can check it out. But I feel like this would definitely be worth it. It's so nice. I've never used a moisturizer, so maybe that's why I think it's like super, super nice because I've never used one, so I don't have anything to compare it to. So we'll leave it at that. But I love this. The next thing is this St. Ives Nourish Smooth Oatmeal Scrub in Math. And this is amazing. This smells so good too, but I really, really use this when I want to take off my self tanner. So I don't wear it on, obviously, I don't wear it on a normal basis or like on a day-to-day -day basis like I should. I feel like when I use it more, it just starts to like kind of come off in spots and it just looks gross and looks funny. But when I want to actually take more of it off, I feel like I get stuck like in my arm and like my cracks of my, cracks of my arm. We'll just leave it there. I will take this and just scrub it and it comes right off. It's a miracle. It's like, this is what always saved me from looking disgusting out and about like when I didn't want to wear myself tanner all the time or like my neck kind of starts to get gross so I just put it on my neck and then scrub it I can either use like a loofah or just like my hand and it works it's amazing super amazing put it on your feet put it on any of your dry spots I like to use this for like an exfoliator type thing um, like on my knees and elbows and stuff it makes everything super soft and nice the next thing is a fanny pack so I carried this on vacation it's so they're like called belt bags now but fanny pack it's like a miracle like they are amazing when it's hands free and like you need your hands I had this on our trip and it fit a lot so I had like my little change purse with my money and my cards and my driver's license I had hand sanitizer I had chapstick I had the girls had their extra money so we had envelopes of money in here I packed extra underwear for my toddler and my deodorant all fit in this it was amazing how much stuff fit in there that was incredible so if you guys too embarrassed to wear a fanny pack or a belt bag or whatever you guys want to call it these days don't be embarrassed it's not embarrassing it's life-changing things are life-changing when you have children because you do whatever is easier so like this purse is amazing because guess what it fits tablets in here granted I don't let them like sit on their tablets all the time but you know what when I need to throw in their tablets because we're gonna be an hour or two at a doctor's appointment or a vet appointment two tablets fit in here along with all my stuff it's just whatever is easier for me to travel with children and then the very last thing that is one of my favorite things this month is Netflix shows so my go-to Netflix show right now is girlfriends guide to divorce it is hilarious it has the woman from dr. house in it and she's fabulous and I can't think of her name right now but she's amazing it is a super super funny show love it so far I'm like almost done with season one and I can't get enough of it if I could watch it all day and all night I totally would <laughs> but you guys that's it for my video I hope you enjoyed my July favorites and if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos you guys and I'll see you all in my next one bye